السلام علیکم مائی نیم از فاطمہ کاشف رول نمبر بی پی ون سکس فائیو ڈبل زیرو سکس سیون اینڈ مائی گروپ نمبر از ففٹی ون مائی ٹاپک از دی ٹرانزیشن تھرو دی مینو پاز اینڈ مائی سب ٹاپک از ہارٹ فلشز فرسٹلی وی ڈسکس دا سمٹمس آف دی پری مینو پاز دیٹ واٹ آر دا سمٹمس آف دی پری مینو پاز دا سمٹمس آف دی پری مینو پاز آر پیریڈ چینجز hot flushes, night sweats, mood changes, vaginal dryness, sleep problems, and weight changes. Before going towards the case study, firstly we will discuss what is the pre-menopause, what is the menopause, and what is the post-menopausal state. The pre-menopause is the female aging process between the reproductive and non-reproductive years characterized by irregular menstrual cycle. Menopause occurs when the last spontaneous episode of physiological uterine bleeding confirmed by 12 months of amenorrhea and typically occur after 4 to 5 years beginning of the premenopause. The postmenopausal status is characterized by decrease in the hormone level and due to this it will contribute to the increased risk of the disease age at the menopause appears it is basically determined genetically it does not influenced by the race physical characteristics age at the last pregnancy socio economic status or oral contraceptive use now what are the underlying causes of the hot flushes associated with the premenopause The exact trigger is unknown, but it is clear that it occurs due to the declining estrogen concentration that occurs during the menopause. Estrogen therapy is more effective than the placebo in reducing the hot flushes, and withdrawal of this therapy results in the resumption of the hot flushes. It is postulated that drop in estrogen production can lead to the decrease in the 5-HT levels. And due to the decrease in the 5-HT level, it will increase the level of the norepinephrine by and its metabolite, such as MHPG. Now, we will discuss the case study of 15-year-old woman have been sudden feelings of the warmth over her chest, accompanied by a patchy flushing of her skin and increased sweating for the past month. It is occur especially when she is taking coffee or wine or when she is upset. Physical examination was normal for a 51-year-old woman and she has not had a menstrual period for at least six months. What is the assessment on the data provided for the patient and what are the underlying causes of the hot flushes we will discuss. Soap notes that the subjective, now the chief complaint of the patient is that she is feeling of warmth over the chest and the patchy flushing on her skin and increased sweating for the past months. History of the illness was that the 51-year-old female was shivering from the perspiration drench from the past weeks and she does not have a menstrual period for at least six months. What is the objective that the physical examination was normal for the 51 year old woman she is suffering only from the hot flushes and she had not a menstrual period for at least 6 months but overall physical examination was normal now we have to assist so what is the assessment for this case that patient experiences hot flushes vasomotor symptoms by 50% to 85% of all women during the menopause transition the onset of the vasomotor symptoms may precede the last menstrual period but prevalence is high during the last two year after the menopause an average hot flush is approximately 4 minutes in the duration the flushes are characteristically episodic it is not continuous It is in the episodic manner, but 
it may be occur frequently in an hour if woman is suffering from a severe symptoms and the severe symptoms occur by an increase in the environmental temperature ingestion of the hot liquids alcohols mental stress all these things can influence and increase the symptoms severity of the symptoms mood changes including the depressions are not uniformly associated with the menopause but they are more frequently in the women during the premenopausal periods now we will discuss that what is the plan what we have to suggest that what is the treatment for the patient so that the first line treatment for the hot flushes is that we have to avoid the known triggers and what are the known triggers that are hot beverages coffee tea and alcohol warm environments secondly weight regular exercise biofeedback and the relaxation techniques if patient fails for the first line treatment and continues with the experience of the symptoms then the drug sh therapy should be considered it is important to note that that there is a high placebo response in the clinical trial evaluating intervention for the hot flushes if continuous symptom then we will go towards the estrogen therapy estrogen therapy there are the different drug brands name with the different initial doses and the different estrogens are that the conjugated equine estrogen synthetic conjugated estrogen micronized estradiol estradiol transdermal symptoms estradiol acetate tablet estradiol acetate vaginal ring estradiol topical emulsion etc so the therapy and the dose depend on the patient symptoms depend upon the severity of the symptoms and all other things will be examined what are the contraindications to the estrogen therapy the absolute contraindications are that the active thromboembolic disease or the history that its patient have the pulmonary embolism stroke myocardial infarction if the patient have the undiagnosed abnormal genital bleeding known suspected or the history of the estrogen dependent neoplasia example the breast cancer or the patient have the impaired liver function we also have known or suspected pregnancy related contraindication diseases that may be exacerbated by estrogen or the progesterone that are gallbladder disease asthma migraine headache hypertriglyceremia epilepsy etc this was all about the hot flushes and about our case study thank you allah hafiz